All right, this is a quick introduction video on how to make a gel skin. Um, what you wanna start with is a clean sheet of glass. So this is actually a picture frame where I've just put in um, a white sheet of paper so you can kinda see what I'm doing as I'm putting it down. Um, you wanna make sure that you obviously don't use a picture frame that is you know, precious or um, something that you wanna keep nice. This is really something where you just get one from the dollar store. Just make sure it's real glass and not plexiglass inside there. So I'm gonna show you two different ways. Sorry, that's a jam jar. Um, this is actually called tar gel, and it's also referred to as string gel, but this is a really glassy look to it when it dries. So I'm gonna show you some gel skins created with this, and then I'm also going to use another medium in just a second. So you can start out by just applying the gel to the surface you want to have a pretty heavy coating of it so that it's easier to peel up when it's dry all right so I'm just gonna add a drop or two of paint so you don't need to add too much to it um, you really do want the colors to be pretty translucent when you're done um, but if you're adding it after the fact you can get this beautiful streaky effect with it so I'm just going to leave this one so that we can see what this looks like with some of the clear transparent showing through. All right, the other material that I'm going to be using today is called matte gel. Um, and it's thicker than the tar gel is. It's almost like frosting when you're putting it down or like icing for cinnamon rolls. So you're just gonna go ahead and smooth that out Again, just nice, even coats of it. And then we'll add a couple drops of the color in here. And I'll smear it around just the same as I did with the first one, just to kind of give it a streaky look. If you're looking for more consistent looks, again, just a drop or two of paint so it doesn't get too dark. And you can mix that in before you spread it out. You can also get a lot more texture on the matte gel than you can with the tar gel, and you can already see that happening here. So we'll come back, um, we're gonna let this dry overnight. Make sure it's in a clean, free area where pets can't get to it, where little kids can't get to it. And then we will come back tomorrow and I will show you how to peel these off and we'll look at what they become. Hello, we are back day two. Our gel skins have both dried. And now we can just, I'm just using my fingernails to peel them up from the glass. Once you've got a whole side up, go gently, but you can go ahead and pick the entire gel skin up. It's peeled. Now because this one has matte gel, you can see it's not entirely clear. Um, sometimes that's the effect you're going for, sometimes it isn't. Um, because it was on the glass, I don't know if you can tell here, but it is pretty shiny on this side. Um, this side has the texture that we laid in there yesterday, and it's got more of a matte finish on that side. The tar gel will be glossy on both sides. This one might be a little bit harder to peel as it's thin around the edges. It gets a little bit, oh, nope, nope, coming up real clean. All right, so... The tar gel is really transparent as you um, are peeling it up. It is very shiny on both sides, you can see. It is smoother on the glass side. Sometimes there are air bubbles that come up on the airborne side. Um, but now you've got gel skins. Be careful at how you store these because they can stick to each other. Um, I usually put wax paper or parchment paper in between them and that will prevent them from sticking to each other as you work with them. You can also mix the tar gel and the matte gel together. Um, you'll get a little bit of a different effect. And then any of the other gel mediums from um, any of our options are available to use to create gel skins as well. Um, you can mix paint into any of these. You can leave them clear. The opportunities are endless. Um, to attach this to a canvas board or another work of art, all you need to do is just apply a little bit more of the medium. Anyone will work. And just stick it on there like glue. Um, I generally prefer using tar gel as an adhesive because I find it dries the clearest so it doesn't cause any conflict 
with color, value, or texture. Um, happy creating!